I can't believe you are gone. Oh, I was shocked and sad when I heard the news. Oh no, if I should cry, me a river mm. or sob softly within me. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let me a moment. If I should smile through the tears, but I'm weeping solitude, oh, I don't know what to do. Hey, my mom, though I know it's better on the other side, and I know it's peaceful in paradise. We are pained, you had to leave us this soon. Sabarista Olali Olaleye Jalai was an acutely distressful incident so heavy to bear by the entire congregants of Methodist Church, Bodija. The news of his passage was particularly devastating to me personally because I spoke with him an hour and a half before he passed on. Barrister Oladi Jalai, until his passage, was a worthy knight of John Wesley. He was a past senior church steward within the years 2012 and 2018. Until his demise, he was the current president of the Men's League. The chairman, board of directors of Wesley Ventures, and the diocesan legal advisor of the Diocese of Ibadan, Methodist Church, Nigeria. Indeed, Sir Olani Jalai was someone that could be said to be an excellent portrait of a divinely sent man, overflowing with immense measures of kindness and selfless desire to help others around him without reflecting any ear on his charity works. He touched every area of the church. He was always willing to lend a helping hand and with passion. <coughs> My dear lady, Adikola Ejaleli, Lady Adikola Ejaleli, the children and the entire family. The demise of Sali at this time, I'm sure, is particularly hard to swallow for you and for us here in Bolivia. Especially more so to Lady Adibola Ijalayu his best friend, the children, the family members, and all colleagues. But I want us to all take solace in the scriptural admonition in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11, which says, God will bring with Jesus those who are fallen asleep in him. So in line with this, and on behalf of the entire people of God in Methodist Church Bodija, we acknowledge that our dear brother has made indelible marks in the sands of time, leaving rich legacies behind. We therefore say good night. Thank you very much. That's for the entire people of God, the people of
people of his glory and let's church go together. Let's speak from the Council of Knights. Death has no respect for anyone. Death has no respect for failures or nobility. For the young or old, for the low and mighty. If he has respect for those virtues, he will not take it, son. The child. Like the church, smooth, gentle, honest, fun, and forthright. You cannot find him many in things that does not concern him. He has, he has answers for every question. We thank God for his life. He was a soldier of Christ. He played his part. And he has completed his Lord. He's now with the Lord. We will see him. It is only time and space that uh, divides us down. But the man of his time will see him because we all live in immortality. Thank you. The entire members of non women Christian Association, like the WC, Methodist Church Bolivia, will remember him for his kindness and support. He was a pleasant, hospitable, unassuming, and courageous man. His various philanthropic and charitable works touched the lives of people around him during his sojourn in life. He was a staunch, staunch and devoted Christian. Since he became a great one, he has always been interested in our welfare and progress. It was a privilege and honor to have someone like Sir Ijalai as a great one. We shall miss him, but we are consoled by the fact that we shall meet one day to part no more. We thank God for his purposeful, fruitful, and rewarding life. For those who knew him, no one is necessary. For those who did not know him, no one is sufficient. He came, he saw, he conquered Galano. Glory be to God. Our condolences to his beautiful and amiable wife, Lady Bola Jalali, the children, the entire and the entire family. Your father attained 
is nothing compared to what you are going to attain. Anytime we hear about you, it's going to be joy. Yeah, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity. This is a round of applause for that. I still work for that time for 41 years. That's a long time.
great for Sister Rola, who is one of us our, our past presidents. We pray that God supports the family he left behind, whom we know we love so much. May the good Lord continue to fill the gap his exit created at family, church, society, and community levels. And you, Brother Nii, you will be deeply missed. May his soul find perfect peace and rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen.
believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, would I have told you? I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world give do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is the word of God. We have item 16, tribute session 3. And we are special, we have uh, specially dedicated this session for the family. Family members and the children. From the standard family we take the slot, and from the children we take two slots. So we're ready. And if you, if any of the grandchildren want to say something, we probably allow for that. From the family. <clears throat> Today, we gather to honor the memory and the legacy of a great man, our beloved father. That, as I fondly called him, was a remarkable man who impacted the lives of many with his unwavering love, generosity, and kindness. He was a loving husband, a caring father, a devoted Christian, a knowledgeable and an astute leader. He shaped and molded me into the man I am today, a man of integrity. He was my counselor and I cannot believe he's gone. Although he's no longer with us, I find comfort knowing he's at peace. If he was alive today, he would have told me to be strong for my mother and my sisters. Even though he's no longer with us, his memory will live on through his children, his grandchildren, and the values he stood up for. He taught us that public service is noble and necessary, that one can serve with integrity and hold true to the important values like faith and family. He strongly believed that it was important to give back to the community and the country in which he lived and he loved. To us, he was the brightest of a thousand points of light. Distinguished guests, friends and family, thank you so much for being with us here today to celebrate the life of my father and your friend and husband. We cannot believe that he's gone to be with the Lord already and we are absolutely devastated with shock. But for right now, Please let us take a collective breath together and celebrate the truly incredible man that he was. Dad, I miss you so much and I will try to remember the son of where I come from. I didn't say too much, but I love you so much, Dad. Today we gather not just to mourn the loss, but to celebrate the life of Mr. Olani Ujalai. A man who lived with dignity, warmth, and a compassion that touched everyone who knew him. He wasn't just a father-in-law to me, but a mentor and a constant source of wisdom. Every time we spoke, he never missed a chance to pray for me, Uluwa Shei, and our siblings, offering blessings that always left me feeling deeply loved. He didn't just treat me like a son-in-law, he treated me like a son, welcoming me into the heart and the family of the Jalees with open arms. He 
was there for me in one of the hardest moments of my life when I lost my own father. His comfort during that time gave me the courage to face my grief and for that I will always be grateful. Despite all he had accomplished in life, his humility stood out the most. He never sought recognition, only seeking to love and serve those around him. His quiet yet powerful presence will forever be missed. Rest in peace, Dad. We will carry your legacy in our hearts always. I have countless cherished memories of my dear father. And while I could write warnings about him, I will keep this brief. Growing up, my parents provided us with the best despite their struggles. My father, the kindest of souls, was a shining example of love and care. As the leader of the Jalai clan, he was devoted to his faith and church, serving in numerous esteemed roles. His humility was profound. He taught me that gender doesn't limit capability and was hands-on in all aspects of life, including cooking and sharing his unique recipes with us. His wisdom, humor, and joyful presence were gifts he generously shared. Despite the huge demands of his jobs, he ensured we felt his love and presence. Proud of his roots, he passed down the rich heritage of our oral culture to us. Daddy, I will forever honor your legacy and continue to celebrate our culture and values. Dad, you are the best father anyone could ever ask for. Your laughter, warmth, care, advice, and love will forever be in my heart. Until we meet again, I hold on to our faith and the hope of reuniting in heaven. Rest well, Babami.
and a deep appreciation for family and friends. You are always there to listen, to offer advice, and to lend a helping hand. You are the greatest father a girl could ask for, and I will forever cherish the time we spent together. Thank you, Dad, for everything. I love you more than words can say. Your most precious daughter. My name is Kedechi Uwezu. I'm from Maria Abia State. I'm the first um, son in law, and that's my beautiful one. Um, the scariest thing that ever happened to me was being introduced to my father in law. And um, it took less than 10 minutes for him to make me feel at ease. Um, I, I can't add anything to all what has been said. And it took me quite a while to get to what I want to say. I'll just recite a poem um, as a tribute to my father. Um, in summary, the man was one of the greatest men at the moment. I think um, for me, true greatness is, lies in simplicity. True greatness is not forced, you know. If you are great, people know it. You don't have to push it. And I think I've learned the true meaning of greatness of this one man. Uh, this poem goes not, it's true greatness. <clears throat> true greatness is not in the glare of glory, when the crowds are at your feet, or in the city's bells, or when the city's bells are pealing as you mount the victor's seat. All that is but a passing show, a fleeting flash of light, a raindrop glistening in the sun, a shooting star at night. True greatness lies in what's not seen, and all that no one knows. The long dark years of ceaseless toil, the pain that never shows, the loneliness and misery, the heartaches and the heartaches and the fears, the waiting and the treacherous doubts, the constant wearing, uh, wearing cries, the agony of hope, of hoping for a dawn that never comes, and the mocking face of failure, and rejections turned down thumbs. There reigns the greatest glory, though roses are not flown in the valleys where the sun never shines and victories are never sown. Um, his greatness was in his simplicity. His simplicity was in his greatness. Uh, I thank God for being part of this family. I thank God for being welcome. I mean, I don't think you can tell any difference from any of us hearing me. I'm like, I'm this, I'm this, I'm I'm this. And we thank God for our mommy. And, um, Daddy's prayer was what means um woman chuan. By God's grace, I'm a By God's grace, we will make you proud. And we will wipe the tears from mommy's eyes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Now let's have to my dad. Daddy, I miss you. Your presence, your voice, your cuddles, your prayers, your advice, your conversations, your laughter, your smell. I can't believe you're gone. You didn't give us any warning. We had so much to do still. You love life, you loved people, you loved helping people, you loved God. A wealth of knowledge, politics, history, all, and a good mind for math. You loved us unconditionally. Your wife, your children, your grandchildren, your parents, your siblings. You were devoted, a dutiful son, a devoted father and husband. You gave us your all, duty. You encouraged my love of reading. My early memories of you were you buying me books to read at a very young age. Selfless, hardworking, no airs and graces, considerate and kind, content, a diplomat, a family mantra, division of labor. You led by example. From changing attire, to sweeping the floor, if a task was to be done, we did it.
status wasn't a prerequisite to gaining your respect. Cleaner, mechanic, child, you made everyone feel at ease. An empower, an advocate of for women's rights, constantly drumming it to us that as women, the girls, we could achieve all we aspire to. To dream big, attain heights, typically associated with men. Be sharp, be smart, use your initiative. These were phrases we heard you repeatedly say and they've now become our separate interests for us. Honest, you took pride in having a good name, a pedigree. You've left huge shoes to fill, Daddy. We're up to the task. We strive to make you proud. We know what matters, you've taught us well. Family, unity, serving God, love, service. Life is fickle and short, and we'll make the most of it. You'd always say you were favored by God, and you were, along fair on me. You'd always, we've lost the gem, the most precious one. The pain your absence leaves is great, almost unbearable, but we take solace in the fact that you're in the promised place. Ola, precious daughter, darling daughter, Unua Yemidale, your name's for me. I long to hear your voice again. Alas, God has called you home and left us with memories of how great, wonderful, and kind a person you were. I love you always and forever. And I leave us all with this verse from 1 Thessalonians 4, 13-18. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Thank you very much. Let me, uh, we have not had any session. We have a session with the children from any of the families that are apart from the children. I can see whether I'm fit or not. I'm fit all the time. Yeah. Balanced mouth and said, 
return to Balak, and thus you shall speak. So he returned to him, and there he was, standing by his burnt offering. He all the princes of Moab, and he took up his oracle and said, Balak, the king of Moab, has brought me from Aram, from the mountains of the east. Come, curse Jacob for me, and come, denounce Israel. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? And how shall I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? For from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. There a people dwelling alone, not reckoning itself among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob or number one fourth of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and let my end be like his. Then Balak said to Balaam, what have you done to me? I took you to curse my enemies and look, you have blessed them bountifully. This is the word of God. As we prepare for the exhaltation by the vessel God has prepared, who is also the minister in charge of this church, the presbyter of our servant, we turn to page 11 to take the next in standing. Commission is rise as we take the next in in preparation for the exaltation.
me at this time on behalf of all our fathers in God, using the sex man and one who pretends over the entire Methodist people in the eyes of the world, which I understand is arrested. It's very emotional when you know our age and you know our age and you know our age and you And our grandpa was served the church very generously and he was also the leading past and mission on the high times of the garden. It's very emotional when you know. And I can carry this feeling. And he's an able wife my younger students also with us. I use them as part of contact. All the episcopates we can recognize at the time, and all the ministers of God here. I want to use this one to come straight to the theme once again. The entire family of the Jedi. Particularly, Our dear sister, Lady Adibola Jalai, the children, Ola Inka, Naya, Shaya, She, and your spouses, and brothers and sisters, like Dr. Hakim and Sister Joke, even we call her Sister Shua Adisha Pratu, and Brother Fetty. We call this with you on behalf of the entire people of God as well. We go to them. On the sudden departure of this rare chair. And the other guys. Why am I here this evening to honor this exquisite life with hymns, tributes, and prayers? the super provision of God for mankind and the person of the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the counselor, the spirit of truth, may he continually minister to you. Every moment and strengthen you to keep standing strong in the name of Jesus. This provision will always be there. It will always be there for you as a senior partner. To lead you to navigate around these trying times and make you see bigger, positive pictures ahead in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you, we bless you, we give you praise. But in a moment like this, when we are celebrating the life of one that has joined us to feel triumphant, who has done excellently well, here and now. We bless you for all that has happened. We bless you for his life and times. And so, as we kick off all of our we all the rights we did it with today, we we'll have tomorrow and then on Thursday. We ask that you begin to speak to us in the living echoes of your world. Let the door of all trials be opened. And let the mysteries of your world be declared in clear terms for each and every one of us in Jesus' name. I'm prompted to share with you a message titled The Passage of the Righteous. It's, it's only those who probably are watching me or probably be at the corner of my room who know the kind of grief I have. Even I had to hide mine to also console people and people here and there because I'm like part of this family. 
reason why yeah, we live together for very long time. I've never shared it until Sister Lee Joker just mentioned in the presence of my bishop's team. I was shocked that my own mother, my own late mother, and her brother's mother were like five and six. The YWC, the Methodist Church, live here. And so, everywhere I am, it's always there. Even before I got to go to he has been a very good confident partner. To air all the things that they do. But somewhere along the line, I was so grieved that this was only, I tried to do it in the corner of my room, and then the Lord spoke to him. Do you consider that this is the passage of the righteous? And he gave me a text. And that's why I had to include that text in one of the readings today. And it's found in Numbers 23, verse 10. It says, Who can count Jacob's descendants? As numerous as dust. Who can count even a fourth of Israel's people? And he said, Let me die like the word, the righteous. Let my life end like theirs. The text given to me, which I have selected for this exhortation, are insightful words drawn from the fourth or the first five books of the Bible that theologians call the Pentateuch. The book of Numbers itself, while telling the story of Israel desert wandering, also graphically portrays Israel's identity as Lord's redeemed covenant people, the righteous people, with a divine assignment. They had a divine assignment, just like that one. Here in this passage, we have a narrative of a pagan diviner called Balaam, who was hired by the king of Moab to pronounce curses on children of Israel. Someone who has strayed away from his own divine assignment, wanting to curse someone who has been their side. But God, the author of life and all things, prevented him. He didn't just prevent him. God is the author of everything because he is the one that makes everything possible. God induced him to express these words of insights that has become valuable to people across ages, saying, let me die the death of the word of the righteous. If you think you're a righteous man, can you say that to yourself? Let me die the death of the righteous. Because someone shot me the second time I was praying with Eliza, was when I was sharing with my sister. I said, Look, because I've had a first class witness, the doctor said, Are you still here? Yeah, because let me, that's the resident commissioner for Ohio State. After uh, the prof, was in my mood, I spoke to us. Then he came to around, he came, sought for my persons after meeting the family, and then we went and it is a first class account of what really happened. And I because I took that, I shared with my workmen in the church. I said, I want to die like Brother Dini. I want to to myself, what are you saying? When we got to him, I said, I want to die like that. Because that was a peaceful death. Because that's what the Lord shared with me when I was grieving that this is the passage of the word, of the righteous. And I'm particularly happy with the way the children have taken it so much. Look at some of the tributes here. White animals, the retinue of them. There was one that particularly struck me, given by that. He said, he believed strongly that he was raised to be what he was, 
to give back to the society. He recognized his divine assignment and he never allowed anything to stop him to keep doing it. Obviously, we will saw him as an error, but he will always be remembered for the good works and the beautiful legacies he left behind. He lived a fulfilled life, which all of us are proud of. A life that is quite impactful, a life that has made positive changes in the lives of the people. I believe God that He did this excellently well. This passage showcased the power of God or the power of His grace. Who makes, who live well, pass on on this earth and on and, and, and His toil and glorious. And we are going to conclude this way. That as the Holy Spirit minister to you, that every one of you, more than anyone can do, because the words we have analyzed just for ourselves were right here, to see whether we can draw life and know how to move on. There's one hymn, I'm already placing there, so we'll sing it together. The hymn written by a prolific writer and minister of Free Church Scotland, Orator's Bonner. That's in resonates with us at this point in time, and I'm sure it will stir us up and it will reset ourselves. I know it will reset me to reset you to start facilitating joy for others. You find that him on page 12 of Can Shall We Up Standing and Take the Him of Oratio's What is that fading away like the stars of the morning?
What is the Lamb? On behalf of the Presbyter of this church, the Council of this church, and the entire people of Bodhija, I welcome you all to this sanctuary today, the 10th of September 2024, to the service of songs and night of tributes in honor of our late night, brother, father, grandfather, Sir Olani Yi, Olale Ye, Babalola Ijalai. We commiserate with the wife, the elder sister, the children, the family, the entire Ijalai clan, the good people of our world, the entire Odo people, the Church of God and the whole nation, Nigeria. May God Almighty comfort us all. We also welcome and appreciate our fathers in the Lord who led this service this evening. And I want to beg your indulgence that you should let me use our grandfather in the Lord. I'm talking about Most Reverend M. Kennedy Stephen, who was the retired Archbishop of Ibadan Archdiocese and the incumbent Archbishop of Ibadan Archdiocese, Most Reverend Onimuwa Odejai, as point of contact to welcome and appreciate all our ministers this evening. God bless you, yourselves. We thank all those who join us to make this service a success. The choir, the stewards, the sidesmen and ladies, the security personnel, and all church workers. God bless you all. We would like to say a massive thank you to the church, the bishops, presbyters, and ministers of the Lord. We would also like to thank the choir for their peaceful rendition. We also thank all societies, including the Christian Men's League and Christian Ladies League for their wonderful ministrations. May God continue to bless you all. We thank that colleagues from First Bank and INEC. We thank Daddy Friends for making it to the ceremony. We also thank the family members, all extended each other family, academic family and their children. Also, a special thank you to everyone that has taken the time to show up for the Olani Ijale family. We pray that the good Lord will bless you and the God of the We end of this prayer. May the Lord bless you and the Lord will bless you. We pray that the Lord will bless you and the Lord will bless you. We pray that the Lord will bless you and the Lord will bless you. We pray that the Lord will bless you and the Lord will bless you.
Only Jalai loves this doxology so well. And that's why I had to include it as part of the closing thing. So we take it. What's it in B on page 14? Praise God for all blessings. Good. Jesus Christ, our Lord. 